cut right to the chase. The iPhone 13 mini is the best iPhone in this year's cycle. And I've got three main reasons why I think that is that might help you if you are in the market for a new iPhone. So we've had the iPhone 13 mini for about three months now, and it's about that time where we can make accurate reviews of the device. And like I said in the intro, my favorite this year has to be, hands down, the 13 mini. So let's jump into why I think that. Small form factor with no compromise. Previously with smaller smartphones that have been released, we've seen that there have been compromises that you've had to make, either with screen quality, battery life, speaker quality, among other things. But with this year's release of the iPhone 13 mini, there really aren't any compromises. Even though it's slightly smaller, it's still the same OLED Super Retina that is in the iPhone 13. And due to it having the smaller form factor, it actually has a higher pixels per inch than the Pro models. With the Mini, the screen brightness is only 800 nits, which is 20% less than the Pro models this year. And one notable missing feature is Apple's ProMotion 120Hz high refresh rate screen, which there's no really getting around it. It is noticeable. And when I say noticeable, I mean more that the models that contain ProMotion are so impressive, rather than the Mini version being unimpressive or lackluster. Really when it comes down to the specs of the iPhone 13 mini, it's actually really comparable to the 12 Pro model from last year, which is kind of nuts that the previous year's Pro model packs the same punch as the mini version, the cheapest version that Apple rolled out this year. Reason number two, it's truly liberating to have this much power literally in the palm of your hand this year. I've had to kind of retrain myself on how I use my phone. Over the last almost decade, I've gotten so used to having these bigger screens and using two hands, two thumbs for so many different gestures and uses. And I really haven't had a phone small enough to do one-handed gestures for almost everything since my first iPhone, the iPhone 4. And the ability to complete so many different tasks just with one thumb, with one hand, really is liberating. And there have been so many different scenarios where I've been so appreciative of having such a smaller phone. With myself, I upgraded to the 13 mini from the iPhone XS Max, and that was quite the shift. It's really altered how I view my everyday carry. I actually made a video uh, last week about my minimalist everyday carry and how the iPhone 13 really just changed my view of my everyday carry. Now I just carry the Apple MagSafe wallet. I attach it to my iPhone 13, I grab just the keys that I essentially need, and I have everything I need for the entire day. Thinking of other scenarios like traveling, going to the gym, there's so many instances where having such a small form factor cell phone is so useful and so helpful. And that kind of leads me to my last point, which has kind of been a theme for me over the last few years of buying technology. I'm really looking for tech that is less but does more. And that's really been the theme of technology and mobile phones since they came around. Thinking of all the different devices that smartphones took the place of when they became on the market. Your phone, your camera, your GPS. Nowadays, I feel like there's a huge percentage of people that literally just use their smartphone as their sole computer in their life. And for people like that, I can understand how having a big, huge screen on your phone can be useful. If it's something that you rely on to be your main computer, you don't have a laptop, for example, and this is one of your main sources of viewing content, watching YouTube videos, watching Netflix. I could definitely see the use case and why so many people were drawn to the larger phones over the last decade. But for other people such as myself who have so many other viewports and devices that they have for specific tasks, I find myself wanting my phone to be optimized for the specific tasks that I use it for. And for me, the smaller form factor works so much better. I hope these three reasons were a little bit different than other reviews that you've seen on YouTube and give you a little bit different perspective as to why you might consider buying the mini version of this year's iPhone if you are due for an upgrade. There are countless other reasons as to why this is a great phone. I didn't mention MagSafe and all of the amazing accessories that you can attach using MagSafe. I did mention my wallet, but there is a plethora of other accessories that make using the iPhone 13 mini such an amazing device. I know that the mini models of the iPhone the last few years have been the least popular models that they've released, but I really hope that these three reasons give you a little bit different perspective 
as to why you should consider buying the mini models. And I hope that they do have an uptick in popularity and that we continue getting the mini models. Apple, if you're listening, please continue releasing the mini models. I'm a huge fan and I know there's a lot of huge fans out there. That wraps up today's video. If you guys are interested in my everyday carry and how I accessorize my iPhone 13 mini, uh, I will leave a link in the description for you guys to check that out. If you are not a subscriber, please be sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content and want to see some more. But that is it for me today. I will see you guys next time. Peace.